In this video, I'm going to share a very quick tip with you in SOLIDWORKS that helps you to change the lighting, whether it's ambient or directional lighting in your SOLIDWORKS. A lot of you don't even know what the lightings are or how you can change them. After watching this video, you'll be able to understand why your component looked the way it looked and how you can make it look better. I hope it helps. Hi, I'm Aryan and I'm going to help you learn SOLIDWORKS the way you have never before. So if you're here as an engineer or a creative mind and you want to learn SOLIDWORKS, you are in the right place. Hit the subscribe button right now. In this video, I'm going to teach you something that I know a lot of you don't even know exists. And after knowing it exists, a lot of you are going to play with it and some of you are going to ignore it. So bear with me because this week I'm coming up with two short tips. This is short tip number one and the other one will be uploaded at the end of this week. Again, if you're not subscribed, do that. Let's go. All right. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to change the directional light as well as the ambient light, whether it's intensity, whether it's color, direction, whatsoever. This is the component I have and you can see there are some highlights here. I especially chose this component due to a lot of curvature that it has and you can see perfectly some spots are highlights, some spots are in a low light, darker, and maybe you don't want that for whatever reason, okay? Especially, especially the biggest reason if you're going to do the rendering in SOLIDWORKS, then that's an absolute necessity to adjust the lighting, okay? Otherwise you get a dark rendering and you cannot do anything about it. So for rendering, it's a must. For other stuff, maybe it's a pleasant experience to your eyes. I'll leave that to you. We are working on the managers, not the feature manager and the property manager. These two are the ones that we are constantly switching back and forth with. We're gonna skip that not the configuration or dim expert we're going to go to the display manager and it has three subcategories we're going to skip the first two and jump to view scene lights and cameras all right and it does exactly what it says in this case we're going to open lights we see we have one ambient light and three directional lights we can change add delete any of those by just right clicking on them that's all you have to do we can also edit all lights at once, but we don't want to do that, okay? So first thing first, I'm going to right click on ambient and click on edit light. What do I see? There is an ambient intensity, which is on 0.3 on default. And if I increase it, it goes towards pitch white. And if I decrease it down to zero, it goes towards pitch black. You can see that, right? And pitch white, I don't even see anything, any curvature, but on pitch black, I still see some highlights. So we're not going to change that. We're going to leave it somewhere around here and try to change the color. Look what happens. This will be the default look on your SOLIDWORKS. If you're going to create anything instead of the great default look that you always get, you could get an orange look. This only matters if you're going to render something that needs to be in a specific color or you have a preference. I'm going to leave it on default. Directional lights. We have three of them. Right click and edit directional light once i do that i see my first directional light this is it it's a representer of the light it's not an actual component and you can see that this is where the light is being shed and this is the direction of it so what can i change here apart from the color just like the ambient light as a matter of fact let me do something else i'm not going to click ok or change anything i'm going to right click and change just, just edit all directional lights so you see all three of them so look we have one here one here and one here with different intensities so we are changing this one because the arrow on this one is highlighted i can click this one and this one will be active and i can immediately change this one all right so let's have the first one active and see what we have we're going to go to brightness increase its brightness look at that only the light from this direction is getting stronger and therefore this side of my car is lit stronger and this side is darker and as you can see the representer also gets lit so you know which light is being changed that's that and specularity actually defines how wide or uh, focused you want your spotlight to be the bigger i go the more spreads the more spread it it spreads more I guess correct me if i'm wrong please i am wrong i don't know what the correct form of saying that should be anyways 
I can also change its direction, whether it's a longitude or latitude. You can do that over here. Look, I can rotate it on the same level or I can rotate it like that. And at the same time, the option lock on model is checked. Otherwise, the light would move away from the model and then you would lose the light. You might want to do that too as well, but I don't want to do that here. Now, again, the other one, you can change that too. Look at that. Look at that. Like this. You could create good looks if you want. You could change the color of one of the lights. Just make one red and the other one blue. Let's see what kind of look we get. Just, wow, look at that. <laughs> Anyways, that was the tip on how to change the lighting on your model. I hope it helps. And if you're going to do the rendering on your model using SolidWorks, you can share your results with me and I can share it in the next video with other people. You can send them to info at SolidWorksTutorials.net and I don't mind sharing your renderings if you wish. You don't have to, just an option. There are so many quick small tips in SOLIDWORKS that can help improve your experience of working with the software and I'm going to include the ones that I think matters first. Not that lighting matters much in modeling, it does not, but it was a nice tip to know because it took me a while to know that this is there and how I can change it. A lot of times my model looked too dark and it bothered me, so I thought it could be your problem as well. If you liked it, please like the video so I know that the tip was appreciated and if it wasn't just leave a comment and tell me no the tip was not appreciated Aryan just move on to the next tip that's fine I can deal with that you will not break my heart as long as you like the video and hit the subscribe I'll see you this week